In this video, I want to help you decide which one of the Canva communities is the right one for you. And whether you are a casual Canva user and simply want to learn a few tricks about Canva, or maybe you want to take this much more seriously and build an entire business around Canva, this video will help you get started by pointing you to the right community which will have the right resources for you. Let's go. What is up everyone, Ronnie here, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a fresh video about the different Canva communities. So I have created five different user profiles and I'm gonna go through these profiles to present the corresponding Canva community. So without further ado, let's start with the first profile. So the first profile is you are a casual Canva user and you're looking for tutorials and maybe some inspiration in a community. Okay, so that means you don't have too much experience with Canva yet and your goals are you want to learn new things, maybe find some tutorials, some videos. You want to find some inspiration. You want to get feedback on your design. So you want to share your design and maybe hear what other Canva users think about your design and you want to connect with like-minded Canva lovers, people who also use Canva on a regular basis so that you can exchange with them, you can just be around other Canva users. So if that's you, the best community for you is probably the Canva Design Circle. The Canva Design Circle is a Facebook group and was really the first Canva community. I would say the Canva Design Circle is the base community. It's a place where everyone, every Canva user enjoys coming and discussing everything and anything about Canva. In the group, people like sharing their designs in order to inspire other Canva users, simply show their designs, or sometimes also ask for feedback from the community. And I believe this is one of the main strengths from the design circle is that you can post your designs and get some feedback from the community, which can be very important if you are a starting Canva designer. Designer. Members of the design circle can also learn some new tips and tricks about Canva with the tutorial that other members will share in the group, but also Canva will share in the group. And finally, members of the design circle can also keep up with what's new in Canva with Canva's monthly new feature recap. Kind of like the What's Hot series that we are having on this channel, but this one is made by Canva. So if you think the design circle is the community for you, how can you join it? Well, very simple. The design circle is pretty much for everyone. It is an open group. It's not public, but it is open for everyone to join. So all you have to do is to find a Facebook group, just type in Canva Design Circle, and then apply to become a member. You just have to accept the rules that Canva set for this community and you're good to go. You will be approved to become a member of the Canva Design Circle. All right, let's move on to the second user profile I have designed for you. And this one is if you are an experienced designer, illustrator, or maybe photographer willing to earn an extra income, a passive income on top of you working on different client projects. So if this is you, your goals are probably that you want to make money with your work and maybe money like a side hustle on top of your primary activity, I would say. You want to reach more people with what you create, your creations. You want to continue to grow as a creative. And number four, to connect with like-minded creatives. Because let's admit it, working as a freelancer from your home could be very lonely sometimes. So having that human connection could be very healthy. All right, so if that's you, the Canva community you probably want to join is Canva Creators. So when we talk about Canva Creators as the community, well, it is the supporting community, the supporting Facebook group of the Canva Creators. And Canva Creators are these creatives, so these graphic designers, illustrators, or photographers who decide to sell their creation to put their creation, their templates, their photos, or their elements, their graphics on the Canva marketplace. Okay, so in order to do that, you will first need to get accepted into the Canva Creators program. So if you come to this page, Canva 
youtube.com slash creators, you will see you will have all the information you need in order to register your interest to become a Canva creator. So Canva creators can uh, pretty much do a couple of things. You can design templates, you can design graphics or elements for the Canva library. And in that case, you will be called a Canva contributor but it is part of the same program, the Canva Creator program. And also you can contribute photos to the Canva library. So you will work on your own hours, you will enjoy all the creative freedom and you will earn money when you sleep. That is the promise from Canva right here on this landing page. And also if you are a qualified teacher who wants to join Canva Creators, you can join this special cohort of creators who will design educational material and resources, so templates, assets, etc. I can talk to you about the Canva Creator program because Diana is a Canva creator. And if you don't follow Diana on the Canva marketplace, I strongly recommend you start following her because she publishes new templates every week and some of them are really, really good. So I will have a link in the description for you to follow Diana as a Canva creator. But after you have registered your interest, pretty much you have to wait until Canva hopefully accepts you in the Canva creator program. And once you are accepted, you will be invited to join the Canva creator community. So that's the community I was talking about. And this community is also a Facebook group. It's called Canva creators and it currently has 818 members. I'm not going to show you more about what's inside this Facebook group, the Canva creators Facebook group for confidentiality reasons, but I'm going to list the different resources that are at your disposal. If you are a Canva creator, once you join Join this group. So they will put at your disposal, once you are a member of the Canva Creator Facebook group, some workshops animated by people who work at Canva on the different features, the different new products, but also they will give you some stats of what users use as in terms of templates, in terms of colors, in terms of fonts. In the group, you will also find some housekeeping announcements and some very practical resources about being a Canva creator, like when you're getting paid, some updates in the program or different ways of doing things and also and this is probably one of the most important features for me is that you can connect with like-minded Canva creators so fellow templates designers and really learn together with them there is a very friendly vibe there's no so much competition per se but there is more of a helping each other grow as a creator kind of vibe in this group so this is really something nice that a lot of Canva creators are actually in Join. Now, how to be accepted in this Canva creator community? Well, like I said before, your first step is really to apply to become a Canva creator. And once you get approved into the program, Canva will send you an email with a link to the Facebook group so you can become a member and start enjoying the perks. All right, moving on to the third user profile. Let's say you are a passionate Canva user, you love Canva and you create content or you might have a community about Canva and you want to continue your journey in this direction. And your goals are that you want to build your personal brand as a Canva specialist or a Canva educator through the content you create. Or maybe another goal is that you want to grow your community or you want to find ways to monetize that content you are creating or simply you want to be officially recognized by Canva. If this is you, the Canva community you want to join is the Canva Champions. The Canva Champions are Canva affiliate partners. They are content creators who earn money with Canva Pro, or better said, they earn money by promoting Canva Pro, okay? So they might be design influencers, they might be design educators, or they might simply have a large audience they can talk to, they can communicate to. So in order to become a Canva Champions, you first need to be an affiliate partner and your journey, if that's what you want, will start on this landing page, canva.com slash affiliates okay so earn money with canva pro if this is for you if you decide yeah that corresponds to my profile i want to start monetizing my canva content then you can apply you can register 
to become an affiliate, okay? So you just press this join now button. And once you are accepted in the Canva affiliate program, you will receive your invite to join the Canva Champions Facebook group. And once you've received your invite for the Canva Champions Facebook group, you will be able to enjoy all of the benefits of being a member of that community, meaning you will have access to all the tutorials, the training material on how to create better content, how to grow your community, but also like how to use the platform called Impact Radius. You can see that there are 3.5 thousand members, affiliate members, partners already in this group. So it's also a vibrant community to be part of to basically share your experience with other affiliate partners of Canva. Canva will also regularly organize events and invite experts that are experts in different marketing topics for the Canva champions community. I myself am a Canva champion and I also participated in a bunch of workshops there and they are always very, very useful. The next step after becoming a Canva champion, and if you're serious about maybe growing your influence as a Canva specialist, growing your influence in these different Canva communities you're part of in order to be maybe noticed or recognized by Canva, or maybe you want to become a verified Canva expert. We'll see what those are in a second. Or maybe you just want to grow your community through your content. Well, what you want to try is to become a Canvassador. Now, what the heck is a Canvassador, Ronnie? Well, Canvassador are Canva ambassadors, and these Canvassadors are people that Canva will handpick in their different communities as valuable members, people who provide a lot of value, people who go above and beyond to really make like stand out in the community. And they stand out because of their leadership, they stand out because they share more value, they share more knowledge. So the more value you provide, the more likely Canva will ask you, will recognize you as a Canvassador in the community you are already part of. And Canvassadors play an important part in these communities in that they inspire they educate and they are connectors in the community. There are people who are commenting a lot, there are people who are sharing a lot and providing value to the other members. Canva really likes that and wants to reward that by giving these very active member a special badge and that's the Canvassador badge. Now, there is another level to this and it's called the Canva Verified Experts. And the experts are kind of like the top of the mountain, the highest echelon, if you want, of the Canva specialists that are officially recognized by Canva. And that upper level of being an expert is for people who have goals like growing their community to very large numbers, becoming a leader in the Canva educational space, or maybe they are building a serious business around their Canva knowledge knowledge or expertise, or maybe they just want to work hand in hand with Canva. In that case, the Canva verified experts might very well be the community for you. Like I was saying, the Canva experts or verified experts are leaders and experts in their communities. They often have a solid following and a passion for teaching about Canva, just like Diana and I. And obviously, as Canva experts, we have access to a bunch of different benefits or perks. Like for example, and this is one of my favorite one, we have early access to new features in Canva to test them out. We are beta users of these features. Also, we receive expert swag, so t-shirts, tote bags, etc. We have a free Canva Pro account for ourselves and our team. We also have a private Slack community with a dedicated full-time community manager, Ryan, who is here to communicate with the experts, to let us know about the new things and also answer any question we might have. So we have a direct communication line with Canva via the Slack community, which is really nice. And last but not least, we also have access to a bunch of events, workshops and hangouts to always know what's up with Canva. Well, that's all good, Ronnie, but how do I become a verified Canva expert? I'm already a Canva champion, but how do I climb up from there? Well, that's a very good question. And I would really say you have to provide value. You have to show up in the communities you are part of. Show Canva that you are worth it. Show Canva that you are dedicated to teaching people, teaching the community about Canva, kind of like what we did years back and when what we're doing with this YouTube channel, like create valuable content and do so very regularly. And Canva will probably notice you or some other 
expert will refer you or talk about you and at some point you might see in your inbox an invite to become a Canva verified expert. So that is my best piece of advice for you if you want to become a verified expert. Orion. All right, guys, I have two more user profiles to cover. I will go a little bit faster for these ones because they are a little bit more niche. And the first one is for people who are teachers and use Canva in the classroom. Teachers have different goals, right? Maybe you want to learn how to better use Canva to design for your students, to design documents. Maybe you want to connect with fellow teachers who use Canva or find some inspiration in the community about material you could create on Canva for your students. Or maybe you want to exchange Canva made teacher resources with fellow teachers of the community. If that's your case, the community you want to join is the Canva for Teachers community, which is also a Facebook group. The Canva teachers community is really the hub for teachers who use Canva and a place for them to connect, to exchange material, to receive feedback. It's kind of like the design circle, but specialized for teachers. So that is very convenient if you are a teacher and most of the people in that community are people who are beneficiaries of Canva for education. So if you go to canva.com slash education, you will see how if you're a verified teacher, you can have access to a free pro account or yeah, paid account as a teacher with special features like creating classrooms, etc, etc. So I would say this is the first step that you get your Canva for Education account and then you will be invited to join the Canva for Teachers community. And one of the things I love about the Canva for Teachers community is that it has already been localized in a bunch of different local groups. So on this landing page right here, Canva for Teachers community, and I will have a link in description to this landing page, you will have all of your Canva for Teachers communities in different languages and different countries. So Argentina, Brazil, France, German, India, etc, etc. So this is really cool if you are, let's say, a teacher in the Philippines, you can join the Filipino group Canva for Pinoy teachers by simply going from this landing page with all the different localized groups. So if you're a teacher, this is a great material. And then last but not least, my fifth user profile. This is if you are part of a nonprofit organization and you use Canva at work. Okay, you use Canva to create your work for this nonprofit organization. And if that's you, well, the community you need to join is Canva for nonprofits. So your goals here might be that you want to create professional material, you want to create your brand kit, you want to create your logo, you want to really work with your team, but you don't necessarily have a big budget to purchase a Canva for Teams subscription. Well, the good news, if you can show Canva that you are a verified nonprofit, you can now have up to 50 seats for free of Canva for Teams. So that is the paid version of Canva, Canva Pro for an entire team of up to 50 people in your team. So go ahead and do that. Canva.com slash nonprofit. Register first if you work for a, a registered nonprofit. And then once you get accepted into the program, once you set up your Canva for Nonprofits account, you will be also invited to join the Canva for Nonprofits Facebook group. So this Facebook group similar to the teachers group is going to be for nonprofit professionals, uh, close to 40,000 members already. And similarly, you will be able to connect with like-minded professionals, uh, see some uh, non-profit related resources like workshops, uh, tutorials, has a dedicated community manager. And it's a great place to just see the work of other non-profits, maybe new area, maybe far from you. There is no localized group so far that I'm aware of. So there's only one global group for non-profits. Phew, that was a lot of information, guys. If you are still watching this video, drop me a heart emoji in the comments. I want to know who is still here. This is very important for me. I read all of the comments. So first of all, if you enjoyed this video, give us a like on YouTube because this will really help us push this video and show it to more people. Also, if you're not yet subscribed to this channel and you enjoy our Canva tutorials or you want to learn more about Canva, subscribe to the channel because this is the place for you to learn the best place, the best resources all over YouTube. So subscribe. 
And then finally, I will leave you with some additional resources here. A video that I made a couple of months ago about finding a job at Canva, but also this other video right here about becoming a Canva affiliate partner. So I will leave you with that.